Okay, while I'm waiting for the pot of water to boil here, I mixed up some Ova Easy eggs. These are uh, freeze-dried egg crystals. They they taste just like egg because they are eggs. It's 100% eggs freeze-dried instead of dried powdered, um, which tastes horrible. But these taste excellent. I'm beginning to regret my uh, choice of bringing the Trangia on this trip because the water is so cold. So getting a boil is uh, takes a while. Uh, there's nothing to break really on a Trangia, so that's one of the attractions of it. Um, it sure is nice though to have a powerful gas stove to just uh, crank and boil the water fast. Oh well. I'm not in a rush. Just about. And then when that's boiled, I'll have plenty of hot water, clean boiled water. And then I gotta refill the Trangia with fuel. Let it let it cool for a couple minutes, refill it with fuel so I can uh, fry up my my eggs and pancakes. So it's a bit of a bit of a struggle with the Trangia. Maybe if I brought two Trangia burners, I could switch them out, but then that's more weight and bulk. Yes, we have a boil. All right. Mosquitoes are coming out. Man, it's amazing how fast that Trangia cools down. I'll get this filled up and get the eggs going. Make sure there's no crud on the bottom here. And I got a little Tex-Mex here to put on it. I sometimes use the windscreen around this, but uh, it's not too bad right now. And uh, I think I think we're good without the windscreen. If I use the windscreen, I have to wash it because the the fat splatters out onto it, and uh, you can't pack that away with grease on it because it'll it'll make all your your stuff uh, start to get food smells, and that's just not good for bears. I think I'm gonna put the simmer ring on.
know, I think I can use a little more heat. Simmering wide open. Okay, I think we're done. Oh, it's going to be great. Mm. Over easy eggs are just amazing. Even the texture is like um, a scrambled egg. I fried this in olive oil, of course. So for starting the day, protein and and fat is a great great way to start a day on a camping trip. Especially if you're going to be working hard all day, which I I won't be working hard traveling because I'm staying here. But. Uh, Especially the fat will give you a nice slow burn for um, hard work throughout uh, the morning before lunch. Now it's time for pancakes. More fat. Fat is good. Okay. Pancake mix is done. Ready. I put a little too much water in, so we'll see how this turns out. I think it'll be okay. Got the Trangia there full blast. And we'll see if we need the simmer ring. Yep, I think we're going to need the simmer ring. It's bubbling pretty, pretty intensely. We'll try half. Well, the pancakes turned into a bit of a scramble, but that's okay. They're going to be just as good, especially with the raspberry jam on it. All right. Just got the simmer ring on there. Just make sure this water stays hot. the next coffee and to put on top of these pancakes got raspberry jam all 
Hard to get out. Mmm. This is my homemade pancake mix. I uh, the base of it is a bannock mix, so I make bannock mix up in bulk, and then I take bannock and then I add other ingredients to it. I'll see if I can remember in the editing to uh, put a description, put a list of the pancake mix ingredients in the description below the video. So have a have a look for that if you're interested in the ingredients.